Let's welcome in Ellen Lee, Portfolio Manager at Causeway Capital. Ellen, it's great to have you here today. What do you think is going on with the market? Is it about interest rates? Right now, yeah, for sure. I mean, with inflation where it is and the expectation of inflation, I think it is um, probable for the market to be concerned about multiple rate hikes. And if you take that backdrop into consideration, you know, value stocks look good. Defensive looks good. Let's give some examples um, of what you think looks good. And, and for some stocks that have already had a strong start to the year, you know, how much more room to run do you see? I think there is definitely more room to run. I think we're just getting started. Um, the things that I like right now today are the things that haven't worked last year, things in defensives, most uh, specifically in healthcare, utilities, and staples. And one of the stocks that we really like is stocks like Mondelez that have pricing power, but it didn't have a lot of excitement last year, but this year it's off to a good start. And on a relative basis, even within the defensives, companies that have done well, you know, stocks in the space of spirits or cosmetics, those have been laggards because valuations are outrageous levels. Stocks like this, obviously underperformed the market last year. I think the funds you know, that you guys are involved with did well, but returned about half of what the market did overall. Why do you think this year is going to be different? Because, you know, as previously said, expectations are lower and um, valuations are more reasonable. And people are looking for, you know, stocks on a relative basis that they'll be more ensured that the cash flows will come today versus a few years from now. Yeah, and I can see why a name like Mondelez makes sense, but the you know sort of technology staples names to me would seem to also be a very good bet. You know, it seems like the same argument you could make for a Mondelez, you could make for a Facebook, or you could make for an Amazon, which has gone nowhere for 18 months. Amazon's PE is higher, Facebook certainly is not. So what would you do with big cap tech right now? I think, you know, there is also sentiment in the market. Also, you know, there's less liquidity in the market with what, you know, central banks around the world are doing. And those stocks that you mentioned, obviously, you know, each stock is different for sure. And there are stock specific issues. But if there's a huge tech sell off, I don't think those companies are immune from that. Yeah. If, and I mean, we've already seen that being the case. I think Facebook's down 17 percent from its recent peak. Part of this story, and even part of the interest rate and the Fed hike story, is really a reopening story, isn't it? It's about people looking past Omicron, seeing normalization, and betting on that. So what are the reopening names that you think are attractive here? We really like, you know, Rolls-Royce and also Las Vegas Sands. I know people may think it's crazy to think about Macau casino openings, but if you think about the more immediate reopening trades, the cyclicals, the high-quality names, those have all run up. But there are COVID laggards that people haven't taken into consideration. And we like companies like Las Vegas Sands and Rolls Royce, which is geared toward long haul, long haul international travel. And finally, what do you say about inflation? You know, does inflation have, can inflation peak and interest rates still keep going higher and reopening plays still work this year? Kelly, to be honest, I'm not in the business of predicting inflation to be honest, and I don't know if it's gonna be transitory. So we're really gonna focus on companies that have low expectations and are uh, well-placed or relatively well-placed for an inflationary environment. But in the short term, I am worried about labor costs and rents being sticky. Well, even the experts got it wrong in a lot of cases on inflation this year. So your caution is warranted. A final comment, as people look through the performance this year, we just showed Art K is down 13% from its peak. Um, there are other areas like cloud computing that are down big as well. When would those stocks look attractive to you? I mean, for value investors like me, I think the valuation has to come down a lot more. But you know, if you look at relative to the market and how big tech stocks, uh, tech as a group has been in the index, I think some of it has to come closer to at least, you know, where historical levels have been to make it look attractive. So in other words, we are not there yet. <laughs> Absolutely not. Ellen, thank you so much for your time today. It's great to have you.